Hello guys and welcome, my name is Phoenix and today we're looking at Scrap Mechanic. As you probably know by now, Scrap Mechanic is a game about building awesome constructions with different blocks. It looks a little bit like a space engineers mixed with Minecraft, mixed with Besiege. I'm going to start a new world, I'm going to show a little bit of building and show you my new creation. I discovered the way to do the doors, it's actually not easy, so we'll show you. I'm going to create a door, normal, normal terrain and just normal world create. So in this uh, scrap mechanic, obviously you build different blocks and you can build constructions as I said and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find some good spot quickly here that we can set up and start building a house. Because every, at some point everyone will want to have some sort of a base and a house. And I was playing with it for quite a bit. And the biggest struggle is you cannot connect two switches to one... Uh, what do you call it? One of them. Can't connect kind of to switch it to one bearing. And that's, that's basically the biggest problem everyone will be facing with their houses. So we have to find a way to move around it and decide what to do with it. So let's go quickly to the station over there. And that's where we're going to build our house, build the door and figure out the best way to be able to close the door from inside and outside. Because that seems to be an impossible task for quite a few people at the moment. So let me get there, let me arrange my tools properly, and I will meet you there, guys. Okay, so here I am. You can select rotation of the blocks pressing Q. So we're going to select a little floor. Probably something a little bit bigger than that. So let's go like this, and go and connect it from this side. Awesome. Like that. And that is big enough for a flooring. So now we want to have a door that's going to be entrance in here. So let's build a door quickly. You're going to have a hinge that is also called bearing in this game apparently. And let's build a door high enough and let's make it that wide. Awesome. Now we have a fantastic door, maybe one higher. Okay, so we have a very, very basic house in here. But at least it's something to get us going. So what we need, we need this block also known as a controller. Going to place it in here and then we're going to use the switch and place it above it. Okay, so we have a switch and a controller. Now we have to connect them using connector tools. So we're going to do we're going to connect the switch to controller and then the bearing here to our rotator. So what we want to do, we want to open the door. I want to open it probably inside. So let's go press E on the controller, rotate by 90 degree. That will make it perfectly open. When I press the switch now, the door will open inside. And that's awesome. Okay, so we have a working door. The problem is, guys, if you place the switch here and you want to connect it to your controller, you cannot have two switches connected to controller. So that's the problem. You cannot close the door from inside. The other problem is as well, you cannot have two controllers connected to the same bearing. So as you can see, it will not connect the same bearing. So that way you can only open the door from one way and you can't open it from the other. So we have to kind of figure out a way to do it properly. Okay, so the, here is what we have to do. We have to select a space with no blocks, blocks behind it. You need to have a space of 10 blocks open in here. You can either do it on a ceiling or you can do it behind the house, whatever. We'll do it behind the house because it's easier. Going to start like that, then we're going to place the bearing in here, and on top of that bearing, we're going to place two of our blocks, like that. Then we're going to throw this one, and we're going to select from our tools sensor. Sensor we're going to place in here, like that. So what sensor does, it detects your movement. So as we are detected here, we can connect the sensor. Connect the sensor to our machine here. And then we'll connect the sense machine here, the controller. On the controller, we're going to set that the door has to be opened as soon as the sensor detects our present. So now, sensor detects me, you can hear a door being open. Just to demonstrate it a little bit better, let me create a little block in here. So as the sensor detects the presence over there, 
We have this door, door open. We still have the same problem as we had last time, that we cannot have the same bearing connected to two sensors. So what do we have to do now to operate this machine properly? We need to. We're going to place another bearing in here first, and then we're going to build as we did last time, like that. Now we're going to place switches, and that will help us a lot. So we're going to place first switch in here. We're going to connect this switch to this bearing in here. We're going to connect this switch to our controller, that we're going to place a new one. And then we're going to connect the controller to the switch. We we'll need to rotate left towards the blue color. So let's go and rotate it 90 degree towards blue color. Going to select it in here. And as, as you see, when you press that, this will rotate and the door will open for us, which is great, 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 great. But that's not the end of it. We need to, the way to close the door now. So let's go inside. As we go inside, we're going to place another switch. We're going to place it here. We're going to place another controller. And this one will be responsible for close, closing things for us. So we're going to place it here, connect it. Let's rotate it as well, 90 degrees. That way. Awesome. Now we're going to connect them two together. And now let's observe that. As I press that one, the door will close. So that is awesome. We have door closed. Now I press it again. The door will open for me, I go outside, and I can press that, and the door will close. And all it does, the machine will move this block around for us in different ways. But that's basically how you can create a switch that allows you to operate the door from both sides. So you don't have to worry about it anymore, you can just press E, wait for the door to open, go inside, close the door, and that's what you have to do. So the important thing to remember about this block, you have to have 10 blocks away, clear space. So about that much clear space you need behind it for it to work. If you place any blocks in here, obviously it will activate the switch permanently, so you can't have anything built in here. So it's either built behind the house, or if you want you can go and build it here on the ceiling, and that will do exactly the same job for you. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video just to show you this thing that I discovered today, I know it, a lot of you have a problem with it. So thank you everybody for watching, if you are new to the channel please do subscribe because I will be doing these videos daily on this game because I really have a lot of fun with it. And I will see you guys next time, thank you for watching.